The first step is to remove the three Phillips head screws holding down the trim piece on the door sill. Next is the speaker cover, which should be held down by another Phillips head screw. This will allow you to pull up the carpet and fold it back enough to access the ECU. Next is the ECU's kick plate protective cover. There are four 10mm bolts holding this on and they are shown here. I recommend using a short extension for the rear bolts. Remove the harness plugs before unbolting the ECU bracket to prevent tugging or pulling of the wires. You can now remove the ECU's bracket bolts highlighted here. Now remove the ECU and the bracket. To separate the ECU from the bracket, remove these bolts. These are still 10 millimeters. If you'd like to open the ECU itself, there are four Phillips head screws on the outside. Here's what the ECU looks like underneath the cover. Remove the door trim, remove the speaker cover, pull up on the carpet, unbolt the kick panel, unplug the ECU, unbolt the ECU bracket, and separate the ECU from the bracket.